So after you've greeted your customer with a smile and you've greeted the dog, you ask your customer if they've been here before. If they have been here before, you will find one of their information cards in our information card box. So you would ask them for their last name. And if they've never been here before, then you would ask them to fill out an information card. Looks just like this. So, have you been here before? No, I haven't. Awesome. Do I fill out one of these? Yes, you're just gonna fill out one of these cards. Here's a pen for you. Please fill out all of the red sections of the card. And be sure to flip it over and sign and read our grooming agreement. Don't worry about this checklist here. That's for staff to fill out. So, I put his breed, his name, his weight, his age. Hi, Boo Boo. So, teeth brushing, glands, facials, de shedding. So, what's in the facial? Oh, so our facial is going to be a five minute massage heated for prime dirt lifting. You're more than welcome to check out any of our services on this board if you like. We have a bunch of variety of services up here that you can choose from for your pet. For your pet, I really recommend teeth brushing. And it looks like he could use a facial because he's got boogers in his eyes and they've been staining his eyes. Hey, you can put it back there. Um, so the next thing is <clears throat> um, you fill out the card, you do like a little, I'll just use a regular card. Oh, <clears throat> so is the camera, can you point the camera towards me? This one. This, this one. Okay. Point it downwards like here. Because I'm going to need to show them how to check in the dog. <clears throat> okay. What are you looking to do for Charlie's groom today? Um, the glitz clips package. Awesome. So how short were you thinking about going for the haircut? Um, just a little bit shorter, not too short. He's already pretty short. Okay. So do you want everything to pretty much lay flat? Yep. Sounds good. Awesome. So I'm going to check Charlie to see if he's got any mats or tangles. This is important to do because you want to make sure that if they do have mats, you upsell. And also you find out the desired length if the dog is, if it's easier, if, it's, if you're able to do the desired length for the dog, you're gonna know by doing a thorough assessment. So based on what the owner has told me, I know that I'll be able to make the haircut short. But let's see if his ears are matted. I don't see any tangles or knots in the ears. Hi, baby. How you doing? How you doing? Hmm. This is a great time to assess other things the dog might need. Like if I saw a dandruff on the dog, I would say, it looks like he's having some dry skin. Would you like us to do an oatmeal shampoo? And they would say yes. Awesome. So he doesn't have any mats. If a dog did have mats, we would just want to explain to the customer that we're going to have to go with a shorter length than they had wanted and explain to them why, which would be because a lot of times if a dog is matted, the mats start at the scalp and we're not able to keep a lot of the hair once it's tangled because the shears need to be able to go, the shears and the blades need to be able to go under the coat. So. <clears throat> check in their pet. You're going to take off their collars. You're going to place their collars into the cubbies.
you're going to lead your pet and put them in a kennel. Come on. Come on. Good boy. make sure this information card is filled out properly. I need to see that they have signed the back and that all of the red sections have been filled out. All of the information is up to date and I can see that they filled out the card properly. So, <clears throat> the next thing that I will do is to, to give an out time for the customers. This is totally going to depend on the dog itself. Most of our customers want us to have the dogs done really, really soon, sometimes at unrealistic time frames. But our true mark for our time frame is to give a dog two hours um, to have them done. <laughs> the next step would be to give a dog an out time. Give your dog and your customer an out time so that they can come in. Oh, fuck. Okay. The next step is to give your customer an out time. An out time is what we give a parent dog to come, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, babe, you can just cut all this out. Okay. <clears throat> the next step is to give your customers, <laughs> the next step is to give your customers an out time. An out time is an expected time of arrival for them to come pick up their dog. It's really important that they sign the back of this grooming agreement because we warn them about not coming in early. When they come in too early, it disrupts us and it also makes it difficult for us to finish our groom. So, make sure that you give them a great out time that's gonna fit for that dog so that they do not come early. So, Markel, you're gonna ask me when you wanna come pick up your dog. So when should I come uh, get my dog? Well, Based on his coat, it's going to take him a little bit longer to dry. Cockers tend to take a little bit longer. I would say about two and a half hours he should be done. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a 30-minute heads up right before your dog is finished. We're going to give you a call, okay? Just okay. wait for our call and come on and get him, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Come on, Schnuckles. Yeah, good boy. We're going to groom you. Bye! <laughs> 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 that was pretty good for a